Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your daily afternoon news brief for the midpoint of this week. Estill County emergency officials said that one person has been killed in a fatal head-on vehicle collision and has made the roadway closed for the entirety of the day as of press time. According to police, the accident occurred around 7 a.m. this morning on Spout Springs Road in Estill County. Emergency crews have been working for hours to clear the scene, which closed the roadway down during this process. Officials report that the two drivers were the only victims involved in the crash. Estill County fire officials also report the driver who was heading northbound was the one who was killed. As many Richmondites are well aware, our water street near downtown has gone through many transformations, including the latest update in road work, which has shut down part of the historical area. We spoke to local business owners about how this has impacted their businesses, and they also noted that the construction to fix the continually flooded roadway is, however, ahead of schedule. Although business has been impacted, City Manager Rob Meinrich also weighed in on the topic and said that this has been a long-awaited road project that will soon remedy the reoccurring flood issues. Myridge says that the project is ahead of schedule as both phases two and three were combined with an end date in sight around Christmas. Watch the video for the full story interviews up now. Berea police officers were dispatched to Lily Rose Lane early Tuesday morning in response to a call claiming that a house had been broken into. The caller, 37-year-old Brandon Smith, claimed that it was his neighbor's home that was broken into but gave the dispatcher his own address. According to officials, Smith had contacted emergency services 14 times in the span of six days. The claims made by Smith included allegations that police officers were breaking into his residence and that they were in his attic. The arrest citation indicates that when police attempted to respond to the calls, Smith was either absent from his household or refused to allow them into the home. Smith told police that he had pipe bombs and was going to blow up his residence if the quote, unknown people did not leave him alone. Emergency officials were also advised by Smith that he'd installed booby traps inside his home and that it was not safe for police to enter the residence. Smith was then detained and transported to Eastern State Hospital. However, officials from the hospital released Smith due to his alleged substance abuse and reportedly stated that he did not have any type of mental health issues. He was arrested and transported to the Madison County Detention Center. Officers charged him with harassing communications, falsely reporting an incident, and terroristic threatening. And due to illness, Berea Community Schools were closed yesterday and remain closed today. Superintendent Dr. Diane Hatchett says the school's attendance had started dropping last week, and by Friday, the school's nursing station was standing room only. As the students rest, the custodial staff at the school has been disinfecting any surface teachers or students touch, including lockers, desks, and door handles. Stomach viruses, strep, and flu cases have been reported to contribute to this closure. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.